in there, but Antrim have defended this, but didn't get it away, and Dublin pulled the trigger, and it gets the first score in a matter of seconds, and in it goes. Field, Dublin go looking for their second point, leading by one point to no score. Is this the second one? Beautifully floated in. Umpires are happy, and that's a beautiful strike from the field. possession. Dublin, they might have over elaborated a little bit, and Connor Johnson, who's a lively player from the Navon Club, sends it in, and they've got one, and it's their first, so he's the first joined us. Aidan Mellet comes in wearing number 23, and Chris Crummy of Luke and Sarsfield's number 22 for Alex Considine of Kilmacud Croaks and Eamon Dillon from St Finbar's. By Neil McKenna. Here goes McKenna. He's got a lovely centre of gravity. Shortens the grip. Replies straight away. It's a beautiful score. And Antrim points apiece. Here we go. And Antrim win the break in the middle. They'll always give their all, Antrim. Connell Bowhill. Does he make it four? He does. And Antrim have taken the lead. Connell got Bowhill. some lovely players. And here they go on the attack. They have a nice little bit of spring in their step. This ball is in from Niall McKenna. He's got one already. You can make that two. Watching it, but hit his foot and didn't know much about it. Here comes the lively Connor Johnson. He gets space, Connor Johnson. And he's got it. He's got it. It seemed to be 20 metre line, and it's a lovely ball to Kieran Clark. Clark breaks through. Dublin have to be disciplined. Goal chance here. There's the shot, and it's in the bottom of the net. Deglon Murphy of O'Donnell. What can they do here? Aiden Mellet. Bally Bowden, man. That's a big ball gone in. And that's more like it for Dublin. They've got a white flag. This time a stick in there. The full back has to take the credit. Matty Donnelly. However, it's back as far as Colin Curry. He turns. He sends it in. It's two in a row for Dublin. Footballer was a Fingalians footballer. There's a shot from a man from a famous footballing club in Dublin also. Also great hurling club, St. Vincent Aaron Crawford. Antrim coming to run from the middle of the park. And it's Michael Bradley who's going to let fly off his left-hand side. And he's got it. He has got it. It's beautiful. Aidan Mellet, turning, he's got space, he's got time. Has he got the score? Yes, he has. The crowd on the far side. New world. There's an advantage coming here. He's going to have a go here, Grummy. He has a go, and that's good advantage. And we are level in Parnell Park. Definitely and out of time now. There's a dangerous ball in. Here comes Keane O'Sullivan. Chance of a goal here, O'Sullivan. Oh, there we are. Dublin have got the goal. This 15 is. points to 15. We're back to a four-point game. Six minutes into the second half, Ryan McBride and the Dublin Hurling Fraternity are very happy. Johnson did very, very well. He's a steady player, the Navon man. That's his first of the second half. He did pick up a yellow card in the first half, but he picked a up a second bite of the cherry. However, Dublin recycle it, send it across the half forward line. Beautiful play. And this man is really showing his skills. As Ronan Smith came out, took a hefty shoulder, held possession. He knocked it across to Chris Crummy. And the Lucan man says, oh, I'll have a go. Keep it in play. He gave it every chance. Niall McKenna has an angle. Niall McKenna fancies this one. And he's got it. That's a lovely score. He Here come Dublin. Reen McBride. Fancies it. Shortened the grip on the stick. Took it well. Two second half. They need scores. Can they get one here? This man has been outstanding today, Campbell. And he's uh, the complete player. And I did say he's uh, moved forward. Dublin come back, all the high numbers. Chris Crummy, on since the start, sends it in as far as McManus. He plays it back towards Sean Elliott. He sends it in and he's got one. They've got it. They create Gale next week. That's a massive ball from Dublin. That'll be the biggest long range point of the afternoon. And we got it. Excellent scope. And the St. Vincent's man has certainly added. His foot to the pedal. Here's a goal chance. Great finish by Andrew. Oh, it was an overhead strike.